Uh, these text patterns are super useful for any kind of backgrounds and advertisements or motion graphic projects. So let's learn how to make them. And yeah, they are super simple as well. So yeah, let's just go right into it. So let's make a new composition and just leave the normal settings. And first of all, we will add a solid for yeah for the background and I'll just give it a nice light blue and of course we also need a text so just right click again and give it a nice text I'll just use yeah, an example here and we have to scale this up really high which first of all might seem weird because in the example it was like a lot of small text but yeah just trust me on this one so we have to scale it up until it basically reaches the edges of this composition and then we can center it with the align tab here with the horizontally align and vertically align settings and if you can't see this you can just go to the window setting up here and make sure align is checked but yeah just make sure it's really really close to the edges scale wise and align it again and yeah now we have to pre-compose this so just right click here and go to pre-compose and just hit ok and yeah now we can scale this back down so press s again on the keyboard for the scale settings and bring this down and yeah just however small you want this to be and now we can actually add the most important effect which is the motion tile effect which I already searched for, but you can also find it under stylized and just apply it. And yeah, now we can increase the output wideness and the output uh, height. And you will already get this super cool yeah, pattern effect. And if we press S on the keyboard, we can scale this up or down, just however you like. And yeah, now you can see if we double click on the pre-composition and yeah, we are back into this one. And depending on how yeah big you make this, so maybe we can just for example turn this down um, and align it again, always align it. But yeah, depending on how big you do this, the gaps will get bigger or smaller. But yeah, uh, actually this looks good. And yeah, that's it already for the pattern. If you want to animate it, I also have a nice little trick and uh, this one is to make sure the 3D settings are activated, so you can basically press this little cube in here and if you don't see the setting you have to press the toggle switches tab down here but yeah if you can see it just check it and this gives us the option to play around with the three dimensional rotations so yeah we can just press R on the keyboard for rotation and now we could basically yeah just play around with this however we like and yeah, as you can see if we have edges open here you can always increase these values the output wideness and the output height and yeah this may take some time to pre-render because obviously it's a lot of pre-composition stacked together but yeah now you can animate this by just pressing P on the keyboard for position and just keyframing the position so go to the beginning put in a keyframe then just go to whatever time and then you can just move this around however you like and yeah, that's it already. Thanks for watching and see you next time.